Okay, so this video is going to be kind of a real video today. I mean, usually I joke around on vlogs and, well, videos like this, and I make try to make be funny and stuff like that, but today it's going to be serious. We're going to be talking about YouTube, and what the hell is going on with it. Like, they're changing their algorithm, big YouTubers are losing subscribers, small YouTubers can't grow, I can't grow. Well, that's just how YouTube is anymore. You can't grow unless you get an audience, and the only way you can get on is by getting subscribers. You can't get subscribers, like get views! <gasps> That was a mouthful. I'm talking really, really fast. I should really slow down. Uh, but yeah. So, let's talk about YouTube, right? Here in, like, the last couple months or so, views on bigger YouTubers have dropped, like, 30%, right? Apparently, they changed their algorithm to favor more watch time, I guess? And, or something? Or, and it was just, it did something, and they messed something up. There was a subscriber glitch. That happened. I think it's still going on. I usually follow stuff on YouTube pretty close because I'm on YouTube 24/7. I watch YouTube videos all day, uh, so I probably I probably know more than some people, but not more like actual big YouTubers because they actually like know what's going on. Because I don't get enough views to really see a, much of a difference. But all I know is that like last, like middle of November, like views just plummeted on people's channel, and people just started complaining about it. Like I don't understand. Like, and then YouTube didn't even say there was a problem. They still doesn't say there's a problem, which makes it even worse. Like they need to communicate when they do. stuff. So as I was saying, right, before some uh, technical difficulty, anyways, uh, like, some YouTubers, like, depend on, like, their YouTube money, like, they don't have a second job, well, most YouTubers have second jobs until you get, like, the million subscriber mark, then you can do YouTube full-time, but until then, like, most YouTubers have, like, it's just, like, it supplements their income, and they actually depend on that money, and then when you go full-time, or if you have a business, then that can really fuck, like, some YouTubers up, like, there's, like, Rooster Teeth. Whenever they mess up, it's not just them mess, it's not just their channel, it's their workers. They have, like, workers, man. They have, like, they have everything. Uh, Scott has Minecraft, another YouTuber watch. He has workers working under him. Whenever he doesn't do good, his whole, ch like, his whole company doesn't do good, because he basically has a company now. The, the, like, like whenever, you, whenever YouTube changes stuff, they need to tell, like, the big creators, like, hey, we're changing something. You can't tell them exactly what they changed. Be like, hey, you should watch out for more watch time, you should try to get more likes, or you should try to do something else, right? Because... They're, they're going to ruin people's lives. I know YouTube doesn't really care. They just want the money, right? They're like, oh, f YouTube. They just, want, they just want the money from it. They're trying to make it profitable. And it's probably... The amount of money you probably, probably to put YouTube every year just to host the servers is freaking ridiculous, probably. It's probably, like, billions of dollars a year just to, like, keep all the videos on YouTube on their server. And they probably, like, trucks just rolling in their freaking server room. Hey, more servers, more more room. We need more room. Come on, keep going. And it's probably billions of dollars. Like, them trying to make money, I understand. They're a company, too. But you can't make money from... A company that makes money from people making videos whenever you're making them get less money for making videos. Like, you can't expect people to do something for free. Like, that's probably why YouTube exploded, because it was like the first video sharing site that lets you make money off of it. Well, back in the day, you had to be like a partner, and it was hard to get partner. But nowadays, anybody can make money off YouTube. Like, look at me, I'm making like a dollar every six months or something, or whatever it is, because I don't get very many views. But, yeah. It, it, I mean, but whenever you change something dramatical like that, even if it was intentional or not intentional, I kind of think it wasn't intentional. I mean, I, th I think they tried to change something, but they didn't, they changed something, like, it, it had an adverse effect, it had, like, some glitch and stuff like that. But, yeah, and also, YouTube, and, and, and some update, give impressions, like, come on, we need impressions, like, we need how many times people saw the, vi how, how many times people saw the video in their, in their feed, but didn't click it. Because then it tells you, hey, your video sucks face, your title sucks, it's not clickable, right? If you want people to click videos, then give us impressions. You're probably already tracking this. But, I mean, look at Twitter. Twitter gives you impressions. And Facebook, like, hey, 85 people saw this. And then it's like, hey, only two people clicked it. You suck. <laughs> like, that, that could be really helpful information. It would be like, hey, it's my fault. I'm not doing good. Or, hey, YouTube, it's your fault. You messed something up. And then you need, like, a team of people that tell you what's going on. Like, hey, we might be changing some algorithm things here in the next minute or so minute or so in the next few weeks so watch out for that your views might fluctuate for a little bit until we figure it out hey we're doing stuff hey you do this do that right but no instead of just changing but yeah, there you go fend for yourself i mean they can't tell you exactly what they changed because then people will be working the system because they hey we need like so you have to go like, you give people like like a million times and then they'll uh, work the system make a bunch of money you can't do that but you can't be like hey we're changing something so be prepared something might be changing here in a little bit so yeah I mean, that would, that would be helpful. And the impressions would be really helpful. Like, we need impressions. Like, a lot of big YouTubers want impressions, too. Like, that would make a lot more sense of impressions. Like, they should do, hey, we're adding impressions in your analytics now. Yay! Now you can see how many people saw it on your news, on your sub feed, or in the recommended, and how many people actually clicked it. Like, hey, 
40 people saw it, but only two people clicked it. Hey, I mean, my title sucks. Or, hey, my thumbnails aren't clickable. Hey, let me do something about it. Let me change it. That just falls on the creator. Like, right now, when YouTube messes up, most of the time people are like, hey, I'm doing what I'm doing. It's you guys. Like, most creators are like, hey, forget. Like, ugh. eventually, I have a feeling like YouTube, someone's good. YouTube needs a competition. Like, yeah, they think Netflix is competition, but it's not really. They need, like, another company that does basically the same thing they do and, like, help them because competition breeds, like, innovation. Like, if another company does something they do better, people go there, but then YouTube will make their stuff better to make it better than them, and it'd just be better all in all. Like, somebody needs to make another company like YouTube to compete with YouTube. Not Netflix, because Netflix is big TV. Like, and Netflix, and Netflix, like, that's what YouTube is trying to do. They're trying to compete with Netflix. That's like a new algorithm change. Because they want more watch time. They want people to sit there and just binge watch like 40 seasons of whatever somebody posts. Like go to like a playlist and just sit there and fall asleep with it for like 8 hours. Because they get more money. Because ads play when you fall asleep and stuff. Even on Netflix. Like yeah. Because like when you're like when you on Netflix, basically people are like, you'll fall asleep or whatever. And they'll be like, yeah, we fell asleep. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you watch like eight seasons while you was asleep, right? That's what happens. And that's, that's what YouTube wants. They want you to stay on their site for as long as possible. But, and they want like, but in order to do that, they're going to kill YouTubers. Like YouTube is the place to where you just, how do I put this? Like YouTube isn't big business. It's not like high production value stuff. It's like some kid sitting in his room with a freaking camcorder recording itself talking about stuff, right? That's what YouTube is. Or, like, cat videos. Or, like, stupid stuff. Or people doing just crazy things that you wouldn't see on regular TV, right? Like, video games. You don't see video games. Well, you're starting to see video games on TV because it's becoming, like, e-games and stuff. But eSports. But you don't see, like, the kind of weirdness you do on TV. That's why people go to YouTube. They like the weirdness. They like the, the personalities. Like people going nuts and flipping out. <sighs> fucking dick. Uh, my camera fell. Okay, but as I was saying, uh, before that happened, I had technical difficulties again. My camera kind of fell because <laughs> I'm using like some Jerry rig. Anyways, exactly. See, I'm not high productive value. People like to watch people be people. Like they think they're more realistic than like say I don't know like reality TV because that's scripted anyway. But that's something else. Like people like come to YouTube to get away from big business TV. Like, CBS, stuff like that. They don't like it here. Like, and then whenever they, they're promoting it because those are the only people who can make daily content for, like, an hour long every day and people will watch it. Like, that's why they're promoting it, because they get the watch time. But people, like, who don't have a full team of people can't make an hour long video day and put it out because it just kills them, right? Unless you want, like, to work like a slave and then that just doesn't work. Like I said, YouTube needs competition. Like, basically, they need competition, they need to do impressions, and they need to warn some YouTube, like, the bigger YouTubers about, like, algorithm changes. Don't tell them, like, hey, we changed, like, exactly what you did. they be like, hey, we're changing algorithm, check it out. Your views might fluctuate up and down a little bit until you figure out what's going on. Let them figure it out, but, like, tell them, hey, we're changing something so they don't flip out and have this huge backlash like they are right now. Like, seriously, like, there's this huge backlash against YouTube saying, hey, oh, you, because people depend on YouTube money now. Like, YouTube has changed people's lives. Like, look at PewDiePie. He's a freaking millionaire. Beforehand, he, he's working at a freaking hot dog place or something. I mean, look at, like, Kid behind a camera, if you, or angry grandpa, they was living in a freaking trailer park, and they decided, hey, let's upload videos. My dad destroying the Christmas tree, and boom, they're freaking making, they're probably making millions now, honestly. But because if you've seen Pickle Boy's new house, he lives in a freaking mansion, right? Uh, okay, enough talk about other YouTubers. I'm on this video here. Uh, if you liked anything I said in this video, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and. Uh,